What's up guys? I thought I would drop a little hack that I use a lot when I'm changing things in my life. And it's a little phrase I say to myself often, and it's old patterns or new patterns? Which one are you going to choose? And I, I, I will admit, I feel that I have been able to make some pretty enormous changes in my life from how I show up mentally, emotionally, in my relationships, with myself, in terms of achieving goals, creating things, becoming an entrepreneur, changing my entire body, all of those things. And what has helped me so much that I just thought I'd share is how do we effectively change our patterns? How come, how come maybe for a little while you're able to change your patterns and then you go back to old habits? Why? And I think the clincher here is forgetting what we really want. It is so comfortable for us to go back into old patterns, right? It's natural, right? It's human nature to go back into old patterns. It's human nature to seek comfort. And what happens is when you're not super clear on where you're going, you don't have resolve. Like, no, I'm freaking going there. <laughs> I'm freaking going there. I know where I'm going. I have lived in that space. And this is the power of vis visualization is very helpful for this. When you have been, when you have lived in your soul, in your mind, you have seen the fine details of where you're going. You have seen the look on your face. You have seen what you are wearing. You have seen your environment. You have seen the people around you. You have lived this life in your mind. And you're like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going there. <laughs> I know where I'm going when it comes in those Thursday evening moments, right? Thursday night, random Thursday. What is it? September 15th, random September 15th. And you're faced with this moment of, I don't feel like it anymore. I want to go back into comfort. The question I love to ask myself is what you going to choose old patterns or new patterns? Which one? And what helps me is to remember what I want. So this is like the lying. We lie to ourselves a lot to get it out of discomfort. Changing your patterns is very uncomfortable for a little while. Very, very uncomfortable. Anybody experience that? Just me? <laughs> it's those moments of sitting through it and it's like old patterns are coming up. Like I want out of this discomfort. I want out of it. I want to go back into my old patterns because I want appeasement in this moment, right? And we, we trade off what we really want for a break. We trade off what we really want for a break, for comfort. And in those moments, sometimes, and these are always mental and emotional. They always start in here, mental and emotional, in your body, in your mind, right? Where, what do you entertain? What do you entertain? Because all of our thoughts are a choice, the way we navigate our emotions, how long we mull in this one little space, that those are, those are patterns, right? So if your pattern is, oh, I'm going to entertain all this, like, thank you, <laughs> um, J-Dub Lifter. If I'm going to entertain all this, like, stuff that has brought me into that place a million times, and I'm just going to, like, totally just, like, roll all up in it, and I'm going to be all in these emotions, and I'm going to go, it's going to bring me right back to that other place. And it is a choice. It is a choice what we entertain in our minds. And sometimes you got to bitch slap yourself. Yeah, J-Bug. Hell yeah. Sometimes you got to bitch slap. I had to bitch slap myself today. And I'm not going to say what because it's really personal. But it's more on the mental, emotional side of things. And I was like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> do, you, do you know what you want, girl? Do you know what you want? I'm like, yes, I do. And I was like, okay, tell me. Tell me, I do this to myself all the time. I coach myself just like I would coach a client. What do you, what do you want? And I'm like, I want this. And it's like, okay, so is this emotional behavior you're doing right now taking you towards that? No, it is not. Okay. So what are you going to choose now? Old patterns or new patterns? New patterns. I'm going to stay focused on that because I've lived in that reality. I've seen it. I have felt it. I'll like be like, remember this, you know, these little vis visions that I've had. Remember? You remember that? Yes. Okay. Describe it to me. Is this, is this, is this? I, I literally talk out loud to myself and do this sometimes when I need a bitch slap of like, Hey, Hey, <laughs> new patterns. We're not going back to that old place. Okay. Cause all this emotional stuff that you do, these little, little mind things you go down, it's bringing you back into that place. So which way are we going here? We're we going there. We're we going here, here. <sighs> okay. Breathe. Let's go. So if it's with your body, 
It's ch- changing your food habits is hard as shit. Does anybody notice that? And it's hard as shit. Okay, because there's comfort. Every time we go into old patterns, it's comfortable. We have the neural pathways for that. We have the emotional habits. We know everything about that road, our current road. And if we want to change it, giddy up for discomfort. It is going to get uncomfortable. Anybody can change their patterns for four or five days. What do you do when it starts to get hard and you don't feel like it anymore? You got to bitch slap yourself. You got to go, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> In a loving way, you know. <laughs> but real talk, what do you want? So is that choice bringing you closer to what you want or further away from it? And make yourself answer it out loud. It's bringing me further away. Okay. So you can choose it if you want to. Is that, that's what you choose right now? Okay. Okay. But I can tell you, every single time you choose the old pattern, you make it so much harder to get to the new pattern, right? It's like you're going like this, and then it's like, eh, and then you got to go like go back up again, and it's like, oh, God, and it's just, like, eh, it's, you know, you're just making it harder to ingrain that new, because if you can get through the uncomfortable period, and pretty soon, you're just there, and it just becomes normal. That, that goal that you had, it's just normal life. The body that I live in now, the health that I enjoy, it's normal. Whereas before, when I was starting, it was hard as shit. I was like, nobody knows how hard this is. Only I know how hard this is. And it was a lot of that, reminding myself, staying in the visualization. If you are not visualizing your goals with feeling, feeling it. You can't just be like, yes, I want that. No, mm, 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 mm. if it's only in your head, your whole body, your subconscious, which is in your body, your subconscious can be taken over all the time. And sometimes when I get faced with old patterns, old emotional patterns, I literally have to step away. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, I cannot. I'm about to go into old patterns right now. So let me step back for a second and breathe. And I'm going to take as much time as I need <laughs> so I can get, get my mind right here. And, the, and what I do every time is that first I give myself permission. It's like, you can do that if you want to. So I'm not making some crazy forbidden fruit around anything. This can be business patterns, relationship patterns, health patterns, okay? Or how you talk to yourself. It can be anything. Give yourself permission to, you can go that way if you want to. Okay, okay. Now my little inner child knows that. You can go that way if you want to. But let's take a step back. Let's breathe for a second and let's remember what you really want. Remember. And that's, I would say, that is what causes most people to not really affect change in their lives is they don't really know what they want. If your goal is vague without any sort of detail, like, I just want to be healthier, mm -mm, it's too vague. Because next Thursday night, when you're not feeling like making any changes anymore, it's like all this stuff comes in, oh, I'm healthy enough, like, it doesn't matter. Right? So you got to get specific with it. You want to change your relationship patterns, right? And you keep texting your ex and shit. It's like, mm, do you know what you want? Do you know what you want? And you got to remind yourself. It's like, okay, <sighs> no more of that shit anymore. No more. So it's that same question. Old patterns or new patterns? Which one are you going to choose? You can choose the old ones, but just be real with yourself that you are taking a step away from what you really want. And if you don't know what you really want in any area of your life, it's time to figure it out. Because I lived that life for a long ass time. I was the worst people pleaser on the planet. I didn't know what I wanted in any area of my life. I just wanted whatever anybody told me I wanted for me. Mm -hmm. I was that person. I fully admit it. I own that. And when I really owned that and was like, girl, you don't know what you want in any area of your life. <laughs> you don't know what you want. You are foggy as crap. What do you actually want? And that takes work. That takes effort. So I highly recommend doing it because once I finally started doing that, life got exciting. I got clarity. It was much easier to make decisions. It has been. And anytime I'm like feeling really foggy, it's like, you don't know what you want and why. And sometimes figuring out why I don't know what I want. I need extra hands on that shit. I do. And I work with Catherine Dixon. I journal. I talk to my friends, you know, I'm like, what are, can you reflect back to me? What you're hearing? Like what I'm missing something. I need somebody, I need a blind spot check. What is going on? Right. 
So get extra hands on deck, but get clear. Do you know what you want? If you feel like you're going all like this all over the place all the time, you don't know what you want. Not really. And the other side of it is every single time it gets hard and you want some comfort, you choose that over what you really want. So there's this process that needs to happen where we take a step back, take as much time as you need, breathe, talk to yourself out loud, give yourself that little bitch slap moment. Hey, hey, remember, remember that way? Are, are, are you going, are, do you really want that? Or are you just talking? <laughs> right? Be real, be real about these things. For those of you who are making massive body composition changes, that shit is uncomfortable as shit. It is not going to be easy. There is nobody, nobody that's like, mm, I don't know. I just I didn't really change that much. And <laughs> I just got super fit. I don't know. It's crazy. No, <laughs> that's not how it works. I don't know. I just, I was like really poor and had all these horrible mini spinning habits. And <laughs> I just became this like business mogul. <laughs> it's crazy. That's not what happens. <laughs> Okay, it is work. It is uncomfortable. When you are feeling uncomfortable and it's like, oh, remind yourself, this is where I'm going. I know that's where I'm going and I will do whatever it takes. Be in silence. Just tell everything else to F off, right? Like I need to get centered here and start ingraining those patterns, right? Those moments when you don't feel like it anymore, and it's uncomfortable and you really, really, really want to go into old patterns. Those are the moments where the most growth happens. The growth does not happen from listening to a live like this. The growth does not happen from listening to a book. The growth does not happen because you read an inspiring Instagram post. That is mental masturbation bullshit. That is not growth. It makes you feel like you knew, know something. It's like reading a study about health and thinking you know that now. No, you don't. Unless you've implemented that in your life, you don't know. Not really. You don't know. Right? In Spanish, there's two forms of the word to know. There's saber, which is like to know in your mind. And there's conocer, which is like to be familiar with. So this is conocer. Like that's what I'm talking about with knowing. Like you freaking know. That's why I, in my personal opinion, there's a bunch of bros in the gym that know more than some health professionals. Absolutely. Because if they know all this shit in their mind and they haven't applied any of it, they don't know shit. And if you know how like healthy relationships work and you're talking, 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 and you're not having one, you don't know. That's why I'm, I'm an open, I'm an open book and I'm willing to step back and observe. Okay. Open. Open, open, and observing, right? You know? So, habla más español. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's been a little while. <laughs> oh, my God. So, the, the conocer, the, to know, to be familiar with, that shit comes when you have sat through those uncomfortable moments. And it's like, oh, freak, I want to break. I want to go back to comfort so bad. <laughs> ¿Quieres conocerme más? <laughs> I didn't know you spoke Spanish, man. <laughs> Did I know that? Um, yeah, so that. Old patterns or new patterns. That's if you take one thing away from this, that's what I, that's what I felt to share tonight. Is when you are faced with all, when you know, you know you're about to go back into your old shit, whatever that is, how you spend your time, your mental emotional patterns in relationships, you want fucking relief, right? Or maybe it's with food or with health and you, you've identified what you want, but you're just like, nah, nah, nah. And you're getting into this small, comfortable energy. Ask yourself, what you going to choose? Old patterns or new patterns? Which one? Gracias, Claudia. <laughs> so that helps me so much. It's just we sometimes we got to remind ourselves, hey, hey, and talk to yourself out loud. Please be a crazy person with me. I'm telling you, it is so effing effective. It is so effective. Just be like, hey, what's going on? What's all this stuff? You going into all these little, you know, I'm telling you, like even with food, right? You're about to go into some old eating pattern of yours. Talk to yourself out loud. Like, hey. Hey, what you doing? 
And when you have to say out loud and answer yourself, um, I'm just sitting here all up in my shit, all up in my mind about going and doing that thing. And it's like, okay, it literally coach yourself. What? It, so why do you think that is? An answer out loud. Don't stay in your mind when you're getting into these old patterns. You will bullshit yourself. You will stop thinking about it when it gets hard and uncomfortable. You don't want to answer it. When you have to hear yourself say out loud and admit, I'm doing this because I actually just want this current satisfaction right now. And ask yourself, okay, so you're willing to, um, you're willing to make it harder for yourself to get to that goal? Yes. Okay. <laughs> And that real talk with yourself will change everything. So just sharing, you know, you can do it. You can, don't shame yourself if you choose it. Just no, just have ownership over that of I am choosing old patterns right now. And I'm, and I'm knowingly making it harder for myself to get into the new pattern. Cause I just disrupted it again. I had a long time that eating at night was a thing. And when I was changing that habit, it was uncomfortable. And there were many, and it was, I, I kind of go into this, don't think, just do. It's like, stop being all up in your mind about it and entertaining it. That's a choice. That is a freaking choice. If that's your pattern, as I do this little thing where I'm like, oh, going all into this temptation, that is a choice to think that way. And you can stop it dead in its tracks. You can bitch slap yourself and say, hey, what's going on? It's like <laughs> being real with yourself and saying, I'm not, no. Just no. Don't think. Just do. Nope. Just go to bed. Nope. Just go to bed. Don't think about it. Just go. Right. You gotta. It's sometimes it's gotta be militant like that when you're changing patterns, and then it's not like that anymore. Now you're living in a higher frequency. Yay! It's not that hard forever, and that's what I think we forget sometimes when we're changing patterns is we think it's always gonna be that hard. It's only hard until you're there, and then now it's normal again. Okay. I'm sure every single one of you who's on this live has some pattern that feels very normal to you that somebody else is like trying to get to, right? And once it becomes your new normal, that's cruise mode. Now you can tackle something else. So just sharing that old patterns or new patterns, ask yourself that, which one you going to choose? Reminding yourself that everything is a choice. You are choosing everything. You are not a victim. You don't have to do shit. You don't have to do it because somebody wants you to or because it makes you a good person or any of that bullshit. You don't have to do anything. You are choosing everything. You are choosing the thoughts that you entertain. You are choosing every choice, every action. And when we own that shit, it is liberating. Liberating. New patterns. Emily. Emily, your your nickname is going to be New Pattern Queen. Queen New Patterns. Emily is making some, Emily's one of my clients. Emily is like boss mode on the new new patterns. Hell yeah, girl. And some of them are new wants, aren't they? It's like, oh, I'm going to freaking speak up right now when I usually wouldn't. New patterns. Right? Um, Zaya, my OCD wants to know what car you were in with that cool glass roof. This is just a Volkswagen Tiguan. This is my functional mom car. (laughs) Oh, man. All right, guys. I'm going to head out. Thank you for joining me. Much love. Bye.